Hi, I'm Craig with AppliancePhysics.com, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of defrost components. Be sure to visit AppliancePhysics.com, where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. AppliancePhysics.com. Do it right the first time. When a defrost component goes bad, usually it has a heavy impact on the refrigeration component. On the table here, I have a couple of different components that you'll find in a regular refrigerator. We have a heater. This is what heats up the frost that's on your evaporator to keep the air flow flowing. We have a defrost timer. This is the control unit. Sometimes it could be a board, sometimes it could be a timer. And of course, we have the defrost thermostat here. This is the safety switch, more or less, and this is what tells it whether or not it's at the correct temperature while it's heating the evaporator. Now, when I find a defrost issue, I like to use process of elimination to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to give you an example. The first thing I would test is the heater. This heater right here is a dual heater, but most heaters just have two terminals to test from. So in order to test out a heater, we'll put it on ohms, and wherever the terminals go in, that's where we will test. If the heater was open, the heater would need to be replaced. The next thing you would want to test is your defrost termination. This defrost termination I have in ice. Defrost terminations have to be really, really cold in order for them to have continuity. So if the unit was at room temperature because you had them shut it down, make sure you put it in ice for maybe about an hour and then test it for continuity. If it has continuity, it's probably good. If it doesn't, it's probably bad. But you also want to do a visual inspection. Sometimes you'll find small holes on the plastic on the termination, or it could be blew up a little bit. If you find that, it will need to be replaced. Now, if you have tested where both of these have tested out good, the next thing you have is whatever controls the unit. That's where I would go to next. This one's a timer. When I'm checking timers, I like to put either a screwdriver or a quarter or something in the timer piece here, give it a turn, and just kind of listen to the contacts. When you put it into defrost, sometimes you can even see the heater turn on. But if it does sound weird, or if these have tested out good, chances are this will need to be replaced. Usually the replacements are not a big deal, but if you feel uncomfortable, make sure you call a proper service technician, and this will wrap up defrost systems. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.